This is an awesome recipe for bonfire night. I'm going to show you how to make a wicked smoky chuck chili on your Kamado Joe. Today I'm going to show you how to make my favourite chuck chili on the Kamado. So the chuck is a really inexpensive cu cut of meat, nice and fatty, very forgiving for smoking. I've had it on the uh, on the Kamado now for around about two hours. It's had a lick of smoke, a little bit of oak that went on there. Uh, so it's ready now to come off and for us to build this chili. So I'm just going to take this piece off and drop it there. And so we've been cooking indirect using the uh, the slow roller, but now we're going to change this up. Uh, so that we can cook in this pot. So I've got this star system, which is perfect for when you want to cook in a pot like this. So we're going to get the pot over the heat now. Like so. And that heat is just going to come straight up and it's just going to be like cooking on a hob. We're going to go in with some rapeseed oil. So we've got our oil nice and hot. We're going to put some onions in there, start sweating those off. Along with some salt. Now, if you add salt to the onions at this point, at the beginning, then you're going to, uh, the salt will help to reduce the moisture that's in the onions and they'll, they will sweat down a lot quick, more quickly. We're also going to put some fennel seeds in there. So salt and fennel seeds. And then next we're going to go in with some garlic and a nice big chunk of cinnamon bark. Just gonna work that in, sweat those onions down. Okay, so sweat these onions down a little now. Into the pot we're gonna go with a couple of dry chilies. Actually smoked these myself, just in the residual heat on the Kamado. These are my homegrown chilies. Three of those in, do like it nice and spicy and follow that up with some chipotle flakes. Okay, and then we're gonna add in some plum tomatoes. Drop of red wine vinegar. This is basically a one pot wonder, it's all going in at once. We're going to go in with a little bit of dry coriander, about a tablespoon, some smoked paprika. Recommend that if you're filming, you take the lid off first. So we're going to just break in, don't need too much of that, it's quite a strong flavour. A teaspoon's worth. Some Tomato puree, about a tablespoon. Some cocoa powder. Just to give a certain richness to this and a little bit of sweetness as well. About a tablespoon of co cocoa powder. I'm just going to work all that together. Woo, it's getting warm over here. Next in we go kidney beans. Two tins. Work those in, with a pinch of salt, and then we're going to top it up with a pint of beef stock. Okay, then into there goes our beef chuck, into the middle. Okay, so lid on. I'm going to let that tick away for around about three hours, uh, around about 150, and then when we come back, hopefully that chuck's going to be ready to just pull apart and pull all the beef into the rest of the sauce. I uh, served it with some hasselback potatoes at Robert's father's brother. Okay, so this chili's been ticking away for around about an hour now. Time to have a little look. Oh, looking good, bubbling away. I'm just going to give the, uh, the beef a little temperature probe. Now, for it to fall apart, it needs to be sitting at around about 97. It's hitting 92 at the moment, so we're not a million miles away. So, whilst we wait for that to finish, 
probably be another hour. It won't do any harm. I'm going to put the lid back on there, and we're going to think about the size, which is going to be Hasselback potatoes. It's a really simple way to do that. I've prepared a load of these already, but just to show you how I've done it, just, you just take a spoon, put your potato into the spoon, like that, fits there perfectly. You can slice all the way down, very closely together, all the way along, and the spoon stops you from cutting the potato in half. So you can work quite quickly. These can be quite fiddly otherwise. And you've got these kind of fanned potatoes, which what we're going to do now is get a load of this lovely local rapeseed oil. Uh, this is by Wharf Valley. N nice high uh, smoke point, which means it's really good for roasting. This is also flavoured with garlic and rosemary, which goes perfectly with potatoes. We're going to hit the potatoes with the oil, making sure that it goes into those cracks, because that's going to help almost turn these into like fries. Good hit of salt as well some sea salt. Going to give them a little massage. Make sure that it's all in there. And all we need to do then is drop these onto the lid of our cooking pot. Let them cook away. Okay, so it's been another hour. I'm going to go and check these out. And the Hasselbacks are absolutely done, which is great. I'm just going to lift this whole thing off. Oh, look at those. I love how the salt forms a little crust on the top. It's going to be so delicious. I'm going to just take these off. All right, let's have a look at this. Woo! Oh, yes. So we've still got this big piece of beef in the middle. And all we need to do now to turn this into a chili is just pull it apart. And that all just go into the juices, work it, break it down, you have the most incredible smoky beef chuck chili you've ever tasted in your life. Sometimes it's good and I have to leave a few little chunks in there for a little surprise, but breaking it down with the back of a fork, working it all in, is going to mean that you get a little bit of that beefy goodness in every single bite. Okay, so we're just going to serve this up, you take Hasselback potato, delicious chuck chili. Load that on there. Try and find a nice chunk as well. There's a bit there. Oh. Little bit of sour cream. And to finish it off, some fresh coriander. There we have my smoky chuck chili on the Kamado Joe. Get on it, so easy. Ten minutes work, five hours of time. Happy days. And we're stuck in. Mm. So good. Get on that recipe. I'm Adam Pennell, Shop Chillad. Thanks for watching our Yorkshire Fire cooking demos. If you like what you've seen, please go to the channel and subscribe. And you'll see the next videos coming soon.